What's up, y'all? Happy New Year. I'm just running some errands around town, you know, handling business, getting my car washed, getting my balls waxed, all that stuff. Uh, and I uh, and I was thinking about this whole Logan Paul situation, right? And, um, and, you know, I was thinking about, like, how could somebody be so dense, you know, and not realize how disrespectful that would be? Or how disturbing it could be. You know what I'm saying? Even seeing the thumbnail, I was like, ugh. And to think that somebody could capture that footage, edit that footage, upload that footage, pick the thumbnail, choose the title, and still not realize that this is kind of like crossing some line. You know what I'm saying? You, you really have to look at, like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? And then, and then I, I read his, 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 his first apology he put up on Twitter before he put up his video. Part of it said, I make a 15 minute TV show every day. So sometimes, you know, like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's hard. I lose track and I just, I, I'm, cause I'm, I'm vlogging so much and I'm putting up so much footage that, you know, I guess he was trying to say that like he, he, he shoots and does this so much, tries to put out this entertainment so much that he just wasn't thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? He was just trying to get out this entertaining, what he thought would be like groundbreaking, entertaining vlog footage, you know? And then, and then I realized like how much daily vlogging can fuck with your head. You know, especially look, you're 22. He's dumb as shit, right? Most 22 year olds are dumb as shit already. I was, I was an idiot when I was 22 too. I mean, mind you, I was a wise, I was a wise 22 year old. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm different. You know, I'm different. <laughs> but he's 22. He's making mad money, so he's entitled. He's attractive, so he's extra entitled. He's white, so he's triple entitled. <laughs> and so you have this kid who's, who has nobody to put him in check ever you know what i'm saying at this point he feels like he can do whatever he wants because not only he's is he making so much money but also because he feels like my life is a is a tv show you know and and, and i've been there i've been a daily vlogger like for like i don't know a month and a half but even even as a vlogger that kind of puts up footage like every few days to a week or so right i get in the mind state sometimes of like oh i should do this because it would make a good vlog i should go here oh it'll make such a dope vlog oh it's gonna be such entertaining footage you know what i'm saying so this dude who vlogs his every day of his life he's not a human anymore he's not thinking like a human he's not thinking about someone's family you know what i'm saying he's not thinking about someone's like dead body about their spirit He's detached from this shit. All he's thinking about is, this footage is about to be entertaining as fuck, son. This is about to be a crazy thumbnail. Because his mind has been rewired to not think as a person anymore. He is thinking as a, my life is a TV show. All I want to do is make this shit entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Because I was thinking like, how could somebody, how could somebody not realize how fucked up this is? And I realized, like, when you're, when you're at that level, you know what I'm saying, you're just delusional, bro. Like, I mean, think about, think about when, when boyfriend versus girlfriend, when prank versus prank, when they did their announcement, their, their breakup video, right? And he was, Jesse was saying that, like, yo, he got so caught up trying to make these entertaining relationship vlogs that he didn't know if he was, if he was, doing this shit because he loved his girlfriend or it's because he thought it would make a cute vlog you know what i'm saying it's like in his head he's like yo i'm gonna put on this i'm gonna do these uh, these these cute things for my girlfriend but then he got to a point where he didn't even realize he didn't even feel like he loved her anymore you know what i'm saying because it was like it was it was it was he was doing everything for the vlog it wasn't even for the relationship anymore this is why this shit starts to fuck with you because when you get to a level where you're the narcissism, I mean, you already got to be kind of narcissistic to be a YouTuber, you feel me? To be somebody who films your life, films your friends, <laughs> and you're like, this is entertainment, bro. Me living my life, y'all like to watch this shit. And, and, and to be at a level where you have millions of kids, hundreds of thousands of kids waiting for that video to drop every morning because this is what this is all they want to watch you know what i'm saying 
when you are at that level and that is in your head, you're not thinking like a normal human being anymore, you know? And I think it was necessary for him to get this reality check. Like, bro, like, think about what you're doing sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because both of them, the brothers, you know, they're at a point where they really, they have no one to, to hold them accountable for anything. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, like, ah, oh man, I hate, like, that video, I saw a clip of that vlog where they were in, I don't know, I think it was, like, Italy or something, somewhere in Europe, and, like, there was some, like, sacred, like, bridge that you're, you know, you're you're not, it wasn't sacred, but it was, like, it's, like, it was considered disrespectful to, to, to jump in the water or to get in that water, and these motherfuckers were just jumping off the bridge into the water multiple times they didn't give a fuck because it's like it's like who, who cares about respect you know what i'm saying who cares about other person's other people's rules when when you feel like you can just do whatever you want and get money for it and get paid a lot of money for it so i feel like man he just reached this 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 level of delusion and entitlement where he feel like he didn't he didn't have to think about shit else where it's like and now now that he's been brought back down to reality you know, I think it's a it's a lesson learned. Do I feel like we should hate him forever? No, I don't. I don't think you should ever. You know, I don't. I don't believe in vilifying someone forever because they did something stupid. You know, what I'm saying unless he like, you know, murdered somebody and like, yeah, he definitely disrespected the dead, but he didn't murder anybody. You know, so I don't know, man. I feel like everybody everybody makes mistakes. He's 22. He's an idiot. I mean, I met him. I met him in person. He's he's a nice guy in person. When I met him a few years ago, like he made a stupid mistake. I I mean, I don't watch their videos regardless. You know what I'm saying? So it it, it really makes no difference to me. I'm not gonna like unsubscribe. I'm not subscribed. You know? But do I feel like this should ruin his career? No. Like people make mistakes. That's the point of making a mistake is to learn. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the universe and God just needs to like be like you're fucking up i need to bring you back down to life and that's exactly what happened you know he was on cloud nine felt like he could do whatever he wanted and then like and he had this dumbass idea got some and did a dumbass thing and then the <laughs> and then just like and now the like the fucking like the wave of like just everything is like fuck you you were an idiot and he's like wow i'm an idiot and that's what needs to happen sometimes and he'll learn from it and 22 i was still in college i was making mistakes you know i was like with my ex um i still hadn't lived a lot of life i hadn't learned a lot of things you know shit changes you make mistakes do i regret any mistakes i made of course not because i learned from all of them you know what i'm saying i mean i'm sure he wishes he could have made a smaller mistake to teach him his lesson because with the internet the internet does not forgive you for a long time and that's what's annoying you know what i'm saying yeah it's 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 amazing that we have people we have a community now you know what i'm saying that will put him in check that will make him realize the error of his ways but also people make mistakes you know like People make mistakes. It happens. It happens. It happens. People make mistakes. <sighs> He's so dumb. <laughs> I can't believe. I can't believe he did that. It's so dumb. Meanwhile, I still don't have ads on my vlog channel. Hello. Let me go send an angry email. All right, y'all. I love y'all. Take care. Happy New Year. Peace.